back, uh, Mr. Benz. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I join Mr. Roy, <clears throat> Mr. Johnson of Louisiana, and Ranking Member Jordan in expressing my regret that Ms. Foster is not here to elaborate upon her remarks regarding additional options for women who find themselves with an unplanned pregnancy. I regret that she's not here to speak to the offerings of the thousands of resource centers across this United States. And I regret that she's not here to further elaborate and emphasize that life is not frivolous, but she's not here. So with that, Mr. Chair, I yield the balance of my time to Mr. Johnson from Louisiana. I thank the gentleman from Oregon. Ms. Pinheiro, um, you are a board member of the Central Florida Women's Emergency Fund, which strongly supports legalized abortion, right? That is incorrect. Okay, what, what does that organization do? I'm the co-executive director of Florida Access Network. Okay, well our, our hearing outline said other. So the Action Network strongly supports legalized abortion, right? Correct. And help me understand the position of your organization. Uh, these are simple yes or no questions. Is it okay to murder a 10-year-old child? No one should be forced to remain pregnant if they don't want to. Is it okay to murder a 10-year-old child, yes or no? I am deeply offended that you would call me a murderer. I'm not calling you a murderer, ma'am. I'm asking you a question. Is it okay to murder a 10-year-old child? This is about your organization's position. Would they say yes or no? My organization's position is that no one should be forced to remain pregnant if they don't want to, and any re abortion restrictions are... Okay, um, okay, let me, let, me, uh, let me answer the question for you. I'm assuming that you do not advocate for the murder of children, okay? What about a toddler? I assume you would say it's not okay to murder a, a toddler either, a two-year-old. What about a newborn? Let me ask you this, the position of the organization, are you for partial birth abortion? Is that the position of the organization? Would you support that? What my organization is for is to support the people who need abortion care, who are lied to when they are sent to okay, alleged if, pregnancy resource does, would centers that, excuse that me, just lie second, just to a second. patients it, would that and apply tell to, them. Would that apply to a woman who is nine months pregnant? I disagree with the premise of your question. Do you, would you support the abortion of a late-term unborn child? Anybody should have should be, have the right to have an abortion at any time any for time. any okay. reason. That's what I need. So here's the thing. I'm just trying to understand the logical fallacy. So if we would not support, and I'm, I mean this sincerely, and this is not for you personally. I'm talking about the organization. You support an advocacy organization. If it, if it is not okay to take the life of a small child outside the womb, why is it okay to take the life of a small child nine, month, nine inches up the birth canal inside the womb? What is the distinction? Help me understand the, the distinction of that. I don't understand the question. If it, you, you would not support the murder of a small child, right? No one would, no civilized person would. Why do we support the taking of a life of a child right before they're delivered? No civilized person should support forced pregnancy. Does abortion take the life of something that's alive? No one should be forced to remain pregnant against their will. Ma'am, you're not answering my questions. Let me, let me ask the doctor uh, on this screen. Um, is it okay, uh, or let me ask you this, does abortion kill something that's alive, take the life of something that's alive? Yeah, you can, right? Sir, the way that you're asking these questions actually intentionally invite violence and harassment to both of us, to all of us. I'm sorry, that I is an absurd that. response. You're a medical <laughs> doctor. Tell me if the, yes, the tell me if the, the if there's an unborn child in the womb or not, if are we killing something that's alive? When you when you dismember something in the womb, is that a human being or not? It's a living being, yes or no? I am here to talk about medical care. Yes, this is a direct question about medical care, ma'am. You positioned yourself as an expert on the issue. Are we taking a life or not? Is it a life, yes or no? What you are discussing is not the reality of how abortion care is delivered in this country. If, you know, if we were in a courtroom, I, I would say that that's non-responsive. And I think I, we all know why you don't want to respond to that, because the obvious fact here is that you're taking a human life. It's a small human life. It's a human being. Let me ask you, doctor, should abortion be allowed because of the sex of the preborn child, in your medical opinion? I do not believe that there should be any restrictions on the bodily okay. autonomy. All right, so if, if so hold on, so if someone gets a a, diagno, a, a a pregnancy test and they say it's a it's a little girl and I want a little boy, it's okay to abort that that child? I have never seen a pregnancy test that tells you this. Would it be okay or not? 
if someone I've knows they, if someone has an ultrasound, they know have, have one sex and they want to abort it, is that okay? The time of the gentleman has expired, Ms. Garcia. I'll just note that no one answered the questions. Thank you. Yield back. Ms. Garcia. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.